The year is 2463. The Coventry Defense Conglomerate needs a hot new toy for the upcoming Christmas season. And all the good Lyra and Commonwealth boys and girls were desperately asking for a nimble, light, reconnaissance mech as a stocking stuffer. The boys down in R&D asked the question, what if we took the Mackie's equipment and slapped it on a lighter frame with a large laser and called it a day? And that's how the Commando 1A was born. Well, kinda. I'm sort of glossing over a lot of details and nuance here, but that's the general gist of it. In fact, it was this version of the Commando and its performance at the Battle of Knox in 2475 that solidified its future while kneecapping the development of another battle mech, the Gladiator. Produced for the Draconis Combine, the Gladiator 1R was one of their first homegrown battle mech designs. Armed with a PPC, two medium lasers, and an SRM-6 launcher, you would think that it would hold its own against the lighter armed, and lightly armored, Commando. As it turns out, the 16 tons of primitive armor was no match for the scrappy Commando. The severe beating the Commandos gave the Gladiators was so decisive that the Gladiator itself was abandoned in 2488. You remember, Sally, when I promised to kill you last? That's right, Major, you did! I lied. The Commando has many, many variants, which makes sense given the longevity of the design. The most common design is the Commando 2D. This version favors close combat rather than long distance sniping. Armed with a single medium laser, two short range missile launchers, and able to hit speeds of 97 kilometers per hour thanks to its Omni GM 150 engine. If the enemy mech has been softened up by your heavier assets, use the SRMs on the Commando to exploit these holes in the armor. In classic Battletech, the Commando 2D has a walk cycle of 6 hexes and a run cycle of 9 hexes. It's also armed with the SRM-6 and the SRM-4 and a medium laser. What's great about this combination is not only are the weapons spread out between the right arm, left arm, and center torso, but they all have the same range brackets, which makes the mech really easy to use and consistent with its firepower. You already know the range bracket for one weapon on the mech, so you know all of them. It just makes it really, really easy. In Alpha Strike, the Commando 2D is a striker. It's got a move of 12 inches and a movement modifier of 2. You're looking at 2 damage in short range and 2 damage in medium range with 0 in long range, which, again, that makes sense. There's no overheat, um, and it also has the special ability of SRM-1. You're also looking at only having 2 armor and 2 structures, so try not to sneeze on your mech. And going back to the rivalry that is the Gladiator 1R and the Commando 1A, if we compare the two mechs, at, at least in Alpha Strike here, you'll notice that the Gladiator is 27 points to the Commando is 13 points. The damage brackets, um, the Gladiator has 2 in medium and 2 in short, 1 in medium, 1 in short for the Commando. It's got that move of 10 inches for the Commando, a move of 8 for the Gladiator, with the major differences coming down between armor and structure, which again, makes complete sense, given that it's a heavier mech than the Commando. So, I guess, you're looking at the movement modifier in Alpha Strike being the greater difference between the two. One versus two. And I don't know if you could actually accurately recreate the Battle of Nox and Alpha Strike, you might be able to in Classic Battletech, but uh, I don't think you'd have the same results in Alpha Strike. Am I wrong? Let me know in the comments below what you think. This particular miniature of the Commando 2D is from the recent Battletech A Game of Armor Combat box set, and it was redesigned with a modern flair by the awesome Anthony Scroggins. I don't give him enough uh, praise on this channel in the videos, but let it be known, I do love his art. It's great stuff. This visual revamp of the Commando brings new life into the mech and I think helps correct a visual mistake made by artists in the past. If you'd like to learn more about the Commando 2D and some of the other variants, check out Technical Readout, Succession Wars, and Record Sheets, Succession Wars. 
If you'd like to learn more about the primitive commando, the 1A, check out Technical Readout Primitives. So what do you think? Can a commando really take out a gladiator? How about a lance of commandos versus a lance of gladiators? How drunk on sake were the Draconis Combine pilots on Nox? That's the question. Produced for the Dracon... Who writes this shit?